good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Since the Black Manosphere has been in existence, and uh, you know you have more creators in the red pill community as a whole, but the black red pill community, a lot of the ladies come out against a lot of the brothers as being misogynist. Uh, they hate on black women. They dislike sisters, and uh, they they don't like single moms, black single moms. And um, I want to push back on a lot of that right now because in the '80s and '90s, most of us. Um, had you know blended families your father probably had kids before he met your mother and she had a kid and it kind of blended all together and people kind of looked out for each other at that time that was then but now after going through those experiments we see as men you know kind of what you get from being in those situations we've seen it with our granddads our fathers and now as you know as men living in this era we're like whoa a nice thing they did for us but that doesn't mean that we want that for ourselves now what is the reason that a lot of men don't want to deal with single moms in the black community it's not because those women are not pretty because a lot of ladies got kids look good and it's not because a lot of black men don't like kids that ain't the issue the issue is one of the biggest issues are baby daddies okay baby daddy dramas and a lot of ladies unfortunately pick a guy that is not a favorable person to deal with, have a baby by the guy, leave the guy, and then want to go on with her life, and then find it very hard to do so because of the baby daddy. I have a clip here, which is featuring T.I.'s stepdaughter, Zonique, and her baby daddy, Izzy Hunter. And I want you to hear what she's gonna say. Now, they have a child together, but if she wants to get a new guy, here's what he's gonna do. Play that clip. I make him so uncomfortable. I'm gonna make him not wanna be with her type shit. Unless he's just a super hard. Yeah, I'm pulling up with her and I'm coming to the session. I'm talking shit in the session. Yeah. If anybody invite you or nothing. Yeah, I'm looking up. And then like if they just in the crib, I know he in the crib or some shit, I'm coming. I'm knocking on the door. Okay. If I'm climbing on the balcony and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs to go to jail. <laughs> no, I'm just doing shit like that. I'm trying to do And then you know my excuse going to be when I'm on the balcony and shit. I'm trying to see my daughter. Open the door. I want to see my son. Show right me there. I'm calling police. You want them baby I'm babies. trying to see my daughter. Hello, I'm trying to see my daughter. I'm yeah. making extra uncomfortable every time I see him out by himself and shit. Okay. Like, and I'm doing all type of weird shit on the ground. Oh. Like making posts and shit. I don't know who like, I my baby mother, they lick me. What? Lord. Yeah, your mother. How about you? I'm just being, I'm just being real toxic and weird. I'd be one of them weird. He's like, 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 what is he doing that for? Like, I don't know what I'm doing it for. I'm just doing it. I'm mad. You right. sound like true love. Because you love me. I'm spiteful. You're spiteful. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Here's the problem. If he feels that way about her, why don't he marry her? Or why ain't they together? I'm pretty sure on the side, if you were to look at his phone, he got other chicks and he don't mind smashing somebody else's baby mama. But when it comes to his baby mama, it's a lot of trouble. I had a terrible experience with somebody's crazy baby daddy about 20 years ago. All right, never again. I have never dated or touch the woman that had kids, from what I can understand, not seriously at least, since that time. Never. All because of that one time. Nothing against women with kids, but that baby daddy thing? No. No. Wanna know why? Because it's another testament to why, usually dating somebody with children, it comes with so many negatives. First of all, besides the baby daddy thing, their time is limited for the relationship, all right? Your time is limited and their time is limited if you're both successful. Then you throw in the fact that person is a kid. Now, you have to win not only the heart of the woman, but of the child. What if the mother loves you and the child doesn't because the child wants the dad to be there and then now you're having problems? Levels of disrespect. When it comes to the discipline of the kid doing something wrong, well, don't talk to my kid like that, right? Then what happens? If you get false allegations, and this happens a lot, let's say, for example, you're going wherever you're going, right? You're doing whatever you're doing. Here's what happens. 
The child goes and visits the dad. The, ch- the dad will try to force the kid to say that you've done some wrongs then. Did he hit you? No. Did he hit you? No. Did he hit you? No. He hit you, huh? No. Say yes. Yes. Oh, my God. That dude over there hit my daughter. Now, here he come with all these goons out trying to get you and everything like that, which really doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And it's so many baby daddies like this guy out there where it's, it happens so often. You don't even want to deal with it because it's not worth it. And this is why I want to tell ladies out there. It's already hard as it is to get married in today's world to get real long-term serious partners based on the kind of society that we live in now. If you are the young lady that desires that your life is different and you become somehow a baby mama to a man, and I want you to listen to this. This is very important. A lot of black men feel like this. If you have a baby by a guy who's a bum and then you wanna somehow do better on the next guy, most guys are gonna look at you as somebody strange. I'm gonna be honest. We're gonna look at it, think about this. If I'm a guy, I get, I get a chick pregnant that is that is a broke hood chick, she she don't have no money, she she's wild, and, and, and you're a woman that's not like that, and I try to come into your life and, and, and try to level up, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, you had a chick with a lady like that. Like, how much more do you need to show me to be with me? Now you have a, um, a kid by a Pookie or a Ray Ray, a gang member somebody crazy a, a, a dusty rapper somebody who's not even me and you think that like i'm gonna look at you as a person that's your proclivity now that's something that you do you you might like dating me but that's what you really like you you really want to be with a person like that because and then i'm gonna go back and look at all the other boyfriends and if i don't see myself in that mix you're just trying something new but you're gonna be back over there in the first place that's how i'm gonna feel and you're going to be thoroughly embarrassed. You know, if you go and try to meet a better guy and you've dealt with men like this in your past, especially when guys have the opportunity to do what? Date ladies that don't have kids. So you have a child, especially if you are not married. So you have a child, you have a child. Now you're dating a man that has options he can deal with a woman that hasn't had a child and the woman doesn't have the this experience. You've never been married. A, a, guy, a guy's going to look at this very unfavorably. Very unfavorably. And that's something that ladies need to know. Ladies need to really look at that because a guy's going to look at it like, what is, what is going on here? Nice lady, but she had baby by this kind of guy? A hood rapper? A dope dealer? How do, how do I even tell my, my inner circle about this? How do I tell my mother? Hey mom, um, I met this lady. Well, the, the, the mom's like, well, well, what is she? She's, yeah, she has a kid. Uh, the, 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 the dude that she was dealing with uh, did drugs or he sold drugs. So yeah, by some small chance, um, you know, and we're like, whoa, wait a minute. So you, you need not get a kid by somebody that you feel like will not be there. Don't have kids by guys who can't marry you, you know? Cause it just, it just looks so, uh, I don't want to say it looks bad cause I'm not, I'm not every man, but I'll tell you that it, it looks like it's not as respectable as a woman who was married and got a divorce and had a kid. It, that looks better. Cause it shows that you value yourself more to do it with somebody in the context of marriage. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. Back at it again another episode of the celebrity junk all right put you far you do scrap the bell we're out